Hey bro, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, well, thanks. Well, thanks. Cool. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for jumping on and telling us a bit about you and our experience together. Um, to kick things off, can you tell us uh, a bit about yourself? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Sandesh and uh, I am basically, I'm originally from uh, Pakistan, but right now based in Brisbane. Um, came to Australia around 10, 11 years ago to study. And then since then I've been here and been um, working in um, IT industry as a business analyst. Um, apart from what I do for work, I like to dance. I'm a part of a dance group as well. So once in a while we um, perform at public events, private events, depends where we need it. Um, and other thing I like to do is uh, work out, work on a little bit of my, my diet and trying to learn a little bit more about yoga because uh, I have a little bit of a back issue and neck issue and all of that. With growing age, you have to worry about all that. <laughs> so um, been doing that too. Yeah, that's that's me. That's awesome. Cool. And uh, can, <laughs> you, can you tell us um, why why you started working with me? Um, I have kind of known you for for five six years now because because of a mutual friend. Um, he used to be your um, roommate, so I saw you there. I saw you how fit you were. And um, from, um, from he used to mention as well, I was like, yeah, you used to work out a lot. Um, so going forward, later on, I saw your post on Facebook that you were looking for five candidates to um, uh, for a five weeks, sorry, five months or five weeks transformation uh, program. And I thought, okay, well, it's cool. Let's just try it out because he's experienced and has been doing it for a long time. And I needed, I needed a um, sort of like, I needed a program that I wanted to try out, but wanted to do it with someone I could trust, someone I knew, not just a random person. So that was, that, that just got me away. I was like, okay, well, let's just try it out. And so I joined in and I had signed up for it. Okay. That's great. With, with any, with, did you have any struggles, any reservations before uh, that, that you wanted to address? Uh, yeah, there were quite a few things. Um, my um, because I learned whatever I learned at gym, it was through um, mostly through friends. So they used to teach me one other thing, and um, obviously they used to work out as well. But then none, none of them were actually professional in that way. So if I made any mistake at any point, they sometimes they could tell me, sometimes they couldn't. And apart from that, that's just a workout part. But I needed a lot. Of, um, the other thing that I struggled with was uh, my diet, my nutrition. Um, I only knew the simplest thing. I would have just a chicken. Um, the the when I was whenever I was on um, diet, I'll be on my um, diet as in like chicken breast, um, broccoli, and uh, some sweet potato. And so it's pretty much every other night that's what I was having because I didn't know much about what what I could have. So anything anything I had that I really really liked, it just felt like I was eating um, junk food or something. So I didn't really know how to make the good choices about um, uh, in terms of diet. And also the exercises that I, were, I was doing, they were mostly traditional exercises every, every other person does. So I needed to learn more. I need to know more. I need to see what I can do. And if I, if I follow a program, can that transformation come? Because if I have a, if I have a certain goal, then I'll just follow it through. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, that makes sense. That's, and We've been we've been been at at this for a while now, so. Uh, um, yeah, I know. <laughs> cool. So so how you met? What's what's been your experience? Um, you know, during our time together, like, uh, what what actions have you taken? Um. In terms of they, they I've I've taken few things from this program, not just one. Um, one thing is uh, um, like getting into the habit of tracking my um, nutrition, whatever I'm eating, I'm just putting in into my fitness pal, so that I know how much I'm eating. And other thing is being mindful of making the right choice when it comes to food. Yeah, once in a while I do go off track. Um, it was happening quite often, but right now I'm just trying to control it. Um, the other thing I took away from this is uh, uh, most of a functional training because I, I wasn't that much into the functional training. I didn't know um, how to do things. And with the certain, certain exercises that you have taught me, um, it kind of brought the momentum as well. It kind of helped me with the dance too because it's, just, it's more of a movement workout. So you 
keep jumping around, rolling here and there. You do you do different things in a certain different way, and that just kind of uh, um, that that sort of momentum um, helped with dancing too. And other other thing I got away from this program was uh, sort of like a motivation side of it, where even if I was feeling low or anything, when I was whenever we had the catch up, it kind of helped. And you always have the recommendations like read this book or start journaling on this and that, that, and those things kind of, those things, a lot of people think they don't help, but they do help. They do. So these are a few things that I noticed that I took away from this program. Uh, that's great. Thank you. Cool. Those, those are kind of words. Um, and what, what were your, like, what was your thoughts, your feelings throughout the process? Like as, as we progress, because we went through many different phases. Even yeah. COVID as well, <laughs> you know, and we had to work at it at home and yeah. So, oh, what is um, your feeling? I mean, at least the one one feeling that I at least I wasn't um, that uh, lost at that point uh, because when even when the COVID happened, I told you it was like these are the equipments I have at home, um, and you planned everything around it so I could work out at home too. So there was a. That was a quick one that I got and then other ideas as well. So it, it just didn't, I didn't feel that lost. So, okay, well, Jim is not there, but at least if I just was me pushing myself to actually do the workout when this stuff was and um, when the plan was already there in place, it's just, I had to act on it. So there was uh, um, one thing in terms of the phases. Yeah. I've, I've had a, quite a few ups and downs in recent years in, in the recent time when we started um, this whole program. Um, but so far just getting through it every day and, um, and thinking of the thinking, thinking in a way that, okay, there, there's always a, um, sunlight at the end of the tunnel. So there will be something. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, okay. Yeah. And uh, what would be some of your highlights, like some of the, the transformations and changes you've made since, uh, um, changes yeah that's one thing in in terms of uh good okay so one thing i would love to mention is uh um that i'm i'm a little bit more flexible than i was um yep that's that's one of the highlight that i have and other thing is uh um body weight exercises i don't know a lot about them before now i know some even if i can't go to gym i do it at home and um other thing is, uh, um, like you, you have the um, Facebook page, you dump everything in there. Whenever I get a chance, I read one other other information there. So that that kind of helps me um, learn. Okay, yeah, what I have to do next, or how I have to plan it. Um, the other highlight is uh, the good thing is that okay, we kind of both are learning. You we're kind of both learning. Like you have reached a point where you have learned enough to train me, but um, at the same time, um, you try out different things on yourself as well to see okay how better you can do, how you can be better on the next day, or how you can be better a week later. So that that sort of a, from you and you're learning yourself so that we could you could teach us. So that's it's it's not like you are stuck up at one point and then that's what we're getting. Yeah. We're getting something new too. Yeah, we, we all in we all in, we all in this together, you know. So it's yeah. uh, and it's continuously learning and progressing and being on track. And um, actually, maybe that's that's something we can talk about is um, the the day to day, the adherence, you know, sticking with the plan, and um, also the goals. Like, what what were some of your goals and your experience with them? Um, so even even pre COVID, uh, remember you spread it down quite a bit. You know, you had some, yes, yeah, you had a really good look. And uh, yeah, you know, COVID, we still stayed active throughout, throughout it. And then, um, you know, we've been picking up the pace now and, you know, being more consistent. So, what's um, what? the right now, the goal is to actually um, stick to it. And the, the goals that we have, uh, um, we have set up in, a, um, in our Trenderize app, um, those are the ones to follow. Um, well, longer term goal is obviously to to get fit, get in shape. That that's in my mind. Um, that's where I want to get. But to get there, the smaller steps that we're taking, other other goals that we have uh, in terms of stamina, running, or um, keeping a shirt as a measurement. That's kind of that kind of helps us. Well because that that's 
for a long time I used that. So I bought a, I bought bought some clothes I couldn't fit in at some point. Uh, after a while, I was like, okay, well, this is where I have to go. This is what I bought. I don't want to waste it. And other thing is, I want to get fit. So two things in one in one way. So I wanted to do that. So these are um, these are some of the goals that that we have. But obviously, I I love food, so I need to. The other goal that I have is um, whatever we eat on daily basis and things. Certain changes can make a huge difference in them. So it be it Indian food, be it Mexican, be it any anything. So I just wanted to I wanted to try experiment with the food and then see what, how how far I can go. Yeah. So, so and- making sure making sure if it's making sure that it's healthy, not like that. Other- yeah, so, so went through isolated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We went, went through healthy choices, if you remember. Um, you know, we went through like different kinds of foods, healthy choices, and you know, the not so healthy, and also having treat meals. And then we mm-hmm. we moved now into more uh, more of a flexible approach with flexible nutrition, where we've actually got um, more quantifiable, uh, and we can mm-hmm. see and track and get a better understanding of foods. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, and that that allows for more flexibility. So you can have your curries, or you know, the different kinds of foods you like, chocolates and all that. Um, yeah. Uh, it, what 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 was something say you really struggled with um, in the past or along the way, and how we've managed to overcome that? Um, the the major struggle, um, there, there was there was a point in life where I would just miss out on everything and then um, miss, not miss out on everything, but I would make sure that I work out on everyday basis or by whatever my schedule was, I'll catch up with other people afterwards, right? With uh, with friends or family or anything, but I, I made sure like, okay, my schedule is this, I work out and then go. But once I, once I got off this routine, I could not go back onto it. So I would feel like I would be, at some point I would be sitting at home, I would be thinking, okay, yeah, fine. In, in two hours I have to go to gym. I'm feeling energetic. But two hours later, I'm lazy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't end up going or it's too late or something. So yeah. that sort of thing, a bit of motivation in that way, I struggled a lot initially. But um, now it's kind of, uh, I'm, I'm kind of going back into the way it was before. So like, even though, even though if I'm feeling just, feeling lazy at some point or feeling like oh I'm, I just want to sleep I just get up and then go yeah so yeah so, and, and and other thing with my gym is like that the gym I go to it's usually busy during um 5 p.m and 8 30 p.m to 9 p.m it's really busy during the day and d- during that time and it's it's a trickier to actually go go to gym at nine o'clock when you have work in the morning Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I've been I've been trying to um, work my schedule accordingly. So I'll have a, have a dinner early, making sure that I have eaten enough. I mean, dinner is done by six six thirty, and um, I'll have to buy any groceries or anything. Leave around eight o'clock. By nine o'clock, work out, come home, and then sleep. So it's a next routine. Saturday and Sunday, if I have to work out, it's fine. Otherwise. Um, I can go catch up with friends. And another thing I have done is like I do um, stretching early in the morning too. That helps as well. That was one of the habits that you put in um, a while back. It was a reminder on the on that app. So that kind of helped as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah we've, we've got all the healthy habits and we can factor those in. It's all about the consistency, right? And yeah. sticking with the workout. That was, that was a tricky point, but yeah. <laughs> but we're getting there. Yeah. Um, with, with the plan, with the plan that we have, um, how do you find it? You know, we've got the lifting, we've got stretching, we've got the mobility, we've got functional fitness, we've got the core work. It, it's, it's a mix of everything. Um, that is the, that is the good part. And, um, other thing is that, uh, um, just been focusing on not lifting heavy, but lifting with the control in a controlled manner. Yeah. So in terms of this, it's like a whole combination of everything. It does help a lot. Um, and certain, certain things that you do when, um, like just say a mobility or a body weight or anything at some point that uh, some of the exercises that you're putting, mm-hmm. we feel that they don't help us with lifting. They don't feel us with the world. They don't help us with core um, strength or any other strength, but they actually do. If we keep doing them over time, it does make you feel better. 
um, I have had uh, certain points. Um, say, when or during the COVID, during COVID, I had gained quite a bit. Okay, well, and I wasn't working out properly either. Me too. <laughs> you know, a lot of people did. Um, it was yeah. stressful times. It was lockdown. Uh, there was a lot, of, lot going on. Yeah. Yeah, and um, one day I decided I was like, no, I have to finish all the workouts, and they all were like home based workouts, nothing, nothing else. Yeah. And after like two weeks, I could feel the difference. People around me could see the difference. Yeah. That, oh yeah, well, it's kind of you can you can kind of see it. But when I was working out, I was just sweating. I didn't feel of that strength or anything that time. You know, two weeks later or three weeks in, I started feeling that okay, yeah, well, even though I wasn't lifting heavy. It was my body that was I was using it as my weight. I mean that was helping. So those those kind of uh, things help, and even even now it's a combination of both. So it helps with core strength when you do mobility and functional training at some point, and then that that's used in how you lift. Yeah. Wow. You've learned you've learned quite a bit. Um, how, how would you say this this affected like mental health has been a big topic, uh, especially during COVID and uh, even going after COVID, like how how is this um, being active helped you in terms of uh, your health, your self care routines? Gym has uh, um, as even even before um, I joined this program, gym has always been something that I something I needed to do, I wanted to do, and it it helped me with my mental health as well. Even, even at some point in life where I was feeling really down or had some personal issues I was going through, Jim helped me. But I found out because I went, was going through something and then I was just angry. And out of anger, I was like, no, nah, I'm a, out of anger, I, went, I started going to the gym. When five days a week, um, I was eating enough as well and working as well, going to uni. So I had my whole routine planned out for like two to three months. And I could see the difference, not just my body, but my uh, mental state as well. So I was, I was feeling more um, relieved, less stressed. I could focus on other things. And COVID kind of, when, when COVID happened, and plus before that and a little bit after that, I was still going, I was again going through the similar stuff, but couldn't really focus on going to gym and pushing myself to gym that way but with this program later on um because it was like all planned out for me in some ways it kind of helped me that it was i was feeling good i was like it's there for me but i'm not doing it i need to do it when i started doing it kind of slowly slowly then it's a starting is obviously hard when you're going to something mental it's really hard to even start with once you once you're in it then um then it feels better you sweat out. It's it, you, when you sweat out, it just feels like you're sweating out all your stress onto the floor. It's there. So, <laughs> yeah, awesome. it's, it's, and and then you feel you feel awesome after, right? You feel good. Yeah. Tired, yes, but uh, <laughs> very. <laughs> it's uh, it also releases endorphins, which um, you know, reduces stress and pain, and uh, there's a bit of a dopamine hit, so you you feel a bit happy. You know, so it's yeah. like shift your mood quite a bit. That's awesome. Um, cool. So. How would you say life's been um, more recently? You know, now that we've been more consistent, uh, yeah, you've been on top of your workouts. You just uh, smashed a, a running goal recently, and um, and you started to see some good changes. Yeah, um, it's 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 been it's been good. Um, I wouldn't say it's been best, but it's been better, better than before, obviously, um, because the the goal are when I get there. I'm working on that right now. And in terms of um, the other small goals that I have, some of these small, tiny, tiny milestones that I have to, that I have to achieve in terms of uh, like running, you mentioned one, um, one K in one go. And then we made it, we changed it yesterday to two K in one go. So that sort of kind of helping me because earlier I, would, I used to think, oh yeah, well, I can't get to 5K in one go. I knew that I have to take small steps, but I would still sit back. But now that we have set up a small, small goals that I've uh, had to achieve and I know I can do it and I have done it before. Yeah. So that way um, it's getting there. And plus thinking about these goals and think about the work that I have and, um, um, and 
trying to just get onto the reading books as well. So that kind of keeping me busy with the positive vibes, I would say, mm -hmm. um, positive mentality. Um, I, obviously, I'm a human being. Obviously, I have like all the negative freaking thoughts as well all, um, all day. But when you go to gym, you just think about what's the next exercise you're going to do and how you want to do it. Right at work, you think differently, and um, when you're reading book, it just makes you feel better. It's it's not like we're not addressing those emotions and um, the issues that we have. It's just we're finding a way to deal with them somehow. We're not running away from them, accepting them. That's yeah, who we humans are. We're working the but <laughs> yeah, fighting fighting it. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, I, I think we've we've covered almost most of it and yeah it's it's been a great journey you know it's been not a smooth smooth running journey it's been ups and downs but there's been a lot of wins along the way and uh you yeah. certainly you know you've you've learned a lot lot during throughout you know even going through covid and then after in the gym and um where, where do you see yourself in in say the next three to three to six months um three to six months um like you know i'm in um i'm planning to move to um sydney soon so that's another thing i'm kind of like a, not worried but kind of concerned that okay well if i if i get busy with that then i will just won't do my my workouts and stuff um but i'm trying to plan in a way that i do put in all my workouts and during the week even though if i'm moving i can Weekend, I can use it for moving, and um, weekdays, I can use it for that. So that's that's one of the things on the plan. Um, but in three to six months, I just want to be consistent with my my workouts, my gym workout, have a diet as well. Have like not a per I can't call it like a perfect plan because nothing is perfect, but have a sort of a plan on um, even if I'm eating something junk, how do I make up for it? How do I eat something healthier to make myself feel better? And then and kind of like experiment with it um, and try to move on to um, a little bit of a more vegetarian diet because I eat, I eat chicken and eggs a lot every day. That's not, an, that's not an issue, but I want to move a little bit towards vegetarian as well. So that's something I've struggled with. It's something I want to try it out and then see how I go. Mm -hmm. And obviously, obviously the target that we have of till september i have to <laughs> have to achieve that yes <laughs> okay so we've got like a long-term vision goal here and we've got some yeah you know, some challenges along the way that's that's always the case you know you're always going to have different things happening yeah. and um but you've got a plan you know and you've got a you've got a plan that's also flexible it's not like you're going to train every single day you know yeah yeah no definitely yeah, so yeah. a plan that's well structured, works in different body parts, uh, has different modalities to it. Um, yeah, uh, it's been good. Um, is, is there anything else you'd like to say? Anything? I think, well, I talk a lot. I think I covered everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no, it's been good. We had a checkpoint call yesterday. So, um, yeah, we, we covered all, you know, how you're going with your training plan, how you, nutrition habits lifestyle factors so it's been good and um yeah it's 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 been a good journey and and we've got a clear clear goal that we're aiming for now and um yeah slowly smashing those those small goals you know it's all about the consistency but um yeah it's been a great journey and thank you thank you for yeah. trusting me and thank you for helping me out thank you for checking on me so that i do my workouts otherwise i feel guilty <laughs> You know, I, I, I got to check in with myself as well sometimes. And um, yeah, you know, having, having the plan and having those measurable, um, a measurable plan, you know, and you can see your progress along the way uh, really does help. And I uh, also got, got resources and people I, I bounce off for, for accountability, you know, and, and support. So, but uh, yeah, it's been great. It's been a great journey so far. Thank you. And uh, let's right. keep going. Let's keep September. <laughs> and <we> get... <laughs> all right okay awesome thank thanks again and no worries cool. yeah.